I, I think, you know, just theoretically, I could combine something like Facetune and EV Synth and all of a sudden start talking to you guys with an old version of myself. And that to me is just insane. All right, I'm gonna be real with you guys. This sh just like blows my mind. What's up everybody, it's your boy Nate. And today I'm gonna show you a super dope software that lets you animate using AI. Is that the way you say it? That's a bingo. The results are super impressive and I just can't wait to share it with you. I'm excited, I know you are too. All right, let's go. So as an animator and motion designer, I've seen a lot of amazing advancements going on in the community just in the past few years. So honestly, if someone was gonna tell me a few years ago that we we're gonna be able to use facial recognition and live remapping using your phone, I would have been like, mm. Yeah, right. <laughs> but nowadays we have some amazing tools like Facetune, even Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat. Honestly, it's just amazing that you're able to do some pretty amazing things just using your smartphone. Yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's just amazing to think how far smartphones have come. <sighs> okay, yeah. So anyways, a month ago or a little bit over a month ago, a new software came out for free called EV Synth, and this shit is just super dope. I had to share with you guys. Basically, it lets you animate using AI. Now, it's not like a super smart trained software, and like you still have to feed it images. In fact, the way it works is by using a video as an image sequence, and then you give it a style reference keyframe, and it's able to take those two and synthesize into some super dope results. Okay, so for a little background, most animation is already made using real footage or real world examples. Did you know that even old Disney movies were animated based on reference footage that they took? Yeah, some of it looks pretty silly if you look back at it. <laughs> and it's also pretty cool, huh? Anyways, this process literally requires an animator or a team of animators to draw everything frame by frame. This process would look like an animator or lead animator going in and drawing really important frames which are going to be called keyframes and then another assistant animator who would go in and create the in-between frames so that those motions that happen in between something like start to go like yeah in between them <laughs> and this process as you can imagine takes a lot of time and a lot of skill and effort to where yeah even Hayao Miyazaki start <laughs> Hayao Miyazaki Hayao Miyazaki starting out was an in-between animator so out of nowhere comes a super dope software that is essentially able to create these in-between frames which takes out the need for like a huge animation team and starts to just let the computer or the AI do the rest of the work for you which to me is just freaking mind-blowing so the process still looks pretty similar in that you're gonna need a keyframe except the huge difference is that the rest of the in-betweens are done through the software and I ended up trying this out I, I, I consider myself a super novice drawer but I was able to whip up something from my favorite TV show Rick and Morty and create this uh, style frame which looks a little bit like it's painted on just to see what would happen so note the software only got this one frame and the rest of that you're seeing is created by it yeah i have no idea how the fuck this shit works it's just dope it's not bad considering i did like a super rough quick and dirty job just to test out the software but i've seen some people make other amazing super dope stuff to where it's looking like ai is gonna have a huge foot in the animation community pretty soon because already i think you know just theoretically i could combine something like facetune and eb synth and all of a sudden start talking to you guys with an old version of myself. And that to me is just insane because the process in After Effects would have taken so much time, so much effort. And I really love that the barrier for entry into stuff like this looks like it's going away. So I'm really hopeful for it. Uh, <laughs> let me put back on these glasses, shit. <laughs> So I'm really hopeful for it. Yeah, anyway, so I'd love to read your comments. It's, it's just mind blowing to me, all the progress that we're making and I'm super hopeful for it. Uh, let me know what you think and I hope to catch you in the next one, peace.
oh by the way if you guys have not checked it out so this part i want you guys to check out because i think it was super dope and surprisingly easy to make to think that i'm able to create this effect just using my smartphone and about three clicks of a button is yeah just mind-blowing this is one of the coolest things that i've seen on the internet now if you like how this was done i'm gonna go a little bit more in depth on it in a tutorial coming up. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on that one. EB Synth gets the black mixture, stamp of approval. Whoosh.